Hi, this is John Guidry, and today we're going to be demoing this new uh, device uh, called an HXC SD card floppy emulator. And um, what I have is this uh, great device right here that lets you use an SD card for floppy disk images. And you see up here at the top, you have a regular floppy disk cable. This device can emulate two drives. So if you have like an Amiga, for example, you could do DF0 and DF1, or if you have a TI-99, for example, you can do DSK1 and DSK2. Um, you could also do like A colon and B colon if you have a uh, PC. Uh, it takes a standard 3.5 inch power cord, which you see up there on the right. You see some jumpers here that where you can configure the, uh, the A and the B drives. So I'm going to actually show you how this thing works. Um, if, right, if you look at it right now, it's saying, oh, what do you want it to have? You want to have drive A or B? Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and pick the, the drive A for it right now, which is actually DSK2 on my um, on my uh, computer. So I, it just so happened to have this mattysong.dsk.hfe, uh, which is a PC99 disk that got translated over to a um, HFE file, which is the native file that this thing reads. So I'm going to go ahead and pick it, and you, you see here it's got the... Uh, the tracks, you know, it's right now it's just kind of sitting on track 8, like the head would sit on track 8 of a floppy, and it's got 40 tracks. Um, so let's go ahead and uh, and we're going to go ahead and we're going to load um, we're going to load this on the TI here. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to go to Extended Basic and um, we're going to run, I just happen to know what one of the files is on here. So I'm going to hit enter, but first we're going to see if I can get this back in focus here. And see, it even had a little speaker in here. I don't know if you heard the clicks or not, but here back on the TI. Here, it's loading the, uh, loaded the music. And I'm not going to make you listen to the whole song. So, but uh, there's two, uh, actually a couple p different pieces of software that you have to utilize uh, to get this to work. Uh, the first piece of software is actually a floppy converter that converts the PC99 disk images over to the HFE format that this thing expects. Um, and there's also a, uh, another program that actually will let you write a config file to the root of the SD card. And, that, and this thing needs the config file in order to work. And the config file does things like sets the backlight level and everything else. Um, you notice um, it's kind of hard to see here with this light on right here, but there's a speaker right here, right in front of my finger. Um, there's a, a D3 LED, there's a D2 and a D1 uh, LED. Um, the D2 LED is uh, blinking for some reason. Uh, the SD card slot, then you have three, uh, three buttons right here that you can use. The middle button's more of the menu button that you can tell it to select a new disk or whatever. And the left and right are the buttons you scroll to go through to different areas of the directory structure. Um, it supports standard FAT32 um, formatting on the SD card. It does SD or SDHC. So you should have plenty of space to put your um, floppy disk images. And it supports um, write, I believe, on everything except Commodore Amiga. And, uh, you know, one of these days, maybe that'll come soon. I'm not sure. But here on the TI, I haven't tried write support yet, but it supposedly has it. Um, but, uh, the, uh, you know, pretty much it, it's, got, it's got some mounting holes and such in the chassis here. You can mount it somewhere. So I'll have to see if I can figure out if I could put some plexiglass around it or something. Um, but uh, here's your quick, short, four-minute demo of this uh, um, HXC floppy disk emulator, the SD card version.